Hello and welcome back. This is lesson 11 of the general English course for elementary level students using Interchange One course book by Jack C. Richards. Last time I just went through this very quickly. You might have asked why Serdar you just went through this quickly. No, I just wanted to make sure if you follow along because I'm going to ask you a few questions whether you understood the conversation or not. Okay, so very simple questions. Now, if you have read along, I'm sure you have to be able to answer these very simple questions. Derek has a full-time job. Derek is always tired after work. Amy does not like her job. True or false? If you have understood the conversation, you have to be able to know that Derek has a full-time job is false. He said, I work part-time at a restaurant or as a server. Okay, so Derek is always tired after work. True or false? True. He said, uh, it's okay, I'm, I'm on my feet all day, so I'm always tired. Okay, so he is always tired. Uh, correct. Amy does not like her job. True or false? False. She thinks her job is great, in fact. Okay. Yeah, it's great. I work with incredible people. So that was just like a double check with you. Like, I just wanted to see if you actually follow my course or not. So now, today we're going to... Uh, study exercise 5 which is grammar focus and it's all about simple present WH questions and statements okay statements and WH questions okay so WH questions are those questions that start with these WH words okay what where maybe how and other question words okay and statements are those sentences that start with a subject and then uh, a verb maybe and then a complement okay so basically uh, now I want you just to close your book or maybe do not look at the PDF if you have it in front of you right now uh, I'm going to ask you these very simple questions that was just a uh, uh, by the way, you can also try this out if you wish to do the conversation and practice. So, now, um, I have these statements. I work part-time as a server. I work at Stella's Cafe downtown. I'm on my feet all day, so I'm always tired. If you were with me, like previously, basically in uh, lesson 10, you can simply tell that this is Derek who said these statements. I work part-time as a server. I work at Stella's Cafe. So, what if I ask you to change this with third-person pronouns, such as he or she, okay? So, since these are present simple statements, once you change I, he, uh, sorry, I, we, you, they, to he and she or, or it, you have to change the verb into this form. Basically, you add third person singular S to the verb. Okay, that was just a quick intro. That was just a quick intro. Now, if you look at these uh, statements and questions, you find out that the for like the structure is very very simple it starts with the uh, like statements we're, we're going to start with the statements it starts with a subject which may be a pronoun or a name and then a verb and then a complement okay what about the questions it starts like ws questions it starts with a de like a question word and then in present simple remember that we use do does to ask questions 
and then the subject and then the main verb but remember that since we will have do and does in the question you don't need to add anything to the main verb like these verbs do work go uh, and the other verbs the verb remains like as the base for like in its base form you don't need to add s e d anything because you will have do does that actually represent simple present in the sentence however in the statements remember that you will need that for he and she and it okay simply you may ask why do i need to um learn simple present basically simple present is used to talk about general things that you do so here we use simple present we do not use simple present for maybe uh, something that we are doing it right now maybe something that has been done in the past and, uh, and that the job is like uh, has already been completed okay so for general things maybe the things that we do them regularly all the time we use simple present for these kind of situations so uh, now we're going to move to the next part so that i can show like show you how is exactly the structure of present simple questions you start with a wh and then do does okay do does uh, and do you know that do is used with you I we they however does is used with he she it so or maybe a name you know a name is actually refers to uh, maybe he or she so it's always does and then we have the subject you 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 uh, sorry maybe a name and then a verb work do um i'm sorry uh like and travel so this is the structure when you ask about what do you do this is exactly the title of unit two you have to remember that uh, you, you have to use do and then uh, the verb remains in its base form and then the reply would be very simple if i'm sorry uh if we for example reply what do you do the answer might be i work part-time as a server or you can simply reply using um verb to be like i'm a student i am a teacher okay like that you continue this way and then you will be able to talk more clearly here we have a better way to understand what to do when we have I you and he she so remember that the verbs will remain in their base form when you use pronouns such as I or you we they however when the pronouns or the subject is he she it or a name uh, maybe a singular name uh, you have to add s like the third per person singular s just like the following and remember that for verbs such as study uh, since it ends with y it has to change into i e s when you add a third person singular s and remember that verbs such as teach since it ends with the like this sound ch you have to add es rather than just s uh, other verbs like these these are like irregular verbs you just simply uh, add for example do would be does go would be goes and ha have would be has these are irregular forms uh, there are no such fixed rules for these occasions so we have an example right here in which um, we're going to uh, do them uh, like these are like conversations uh, we have to use present simple form uh, while we complete these conversations 
So um, for this class, that's enough. That would that's uh, that we covered enough. We will complete um, this exercise in the next lesson, and I hope uh, you prepare well so that you will be able to answer the questions. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.